no matter how much I read, watch, study, talk to people about everything that has to do with astrology, it never ceases to amaze me like how fascinating it is. And even more so how planets can affect an entire group of people all at the same time, um, especially if they're born around the same time. But I have been getting clients back to back who are all experiencing the same thing. And even on Twitter, I have been seeing tweets about people not feeling energetic, not wanting to complete their tasks, complete their work. They're just confused about life. More so, though, in the area of work and what they want to do. We're seeing like mass quitting people, you know, going after their dreams or just doing stuff that's more creative. Um, but they're also, like I said, very confused about like what is happening. Like, uh, I don't feel like I should be doing this thing anymore. And I have pinpointed a major transit that is happening for a lot of people. And that is a Neptune transit squaring their Saturn or just and if you've ever had it, you will have it coming up most likely, um, just depending on again, when you were born. But when Neptune transits your chart and it squares your Saturn, meaning it's at that 90 degree angle, things just start happening, y'all. And one of the things that I have noticed is that people start to get into this, um, you know, mindset of like, I don't think that I'm in the right space whenever it comes to work. Now, you know, Saturn is connected to work your career, it's that 10th house energy, the father, and then Neptune is all things that are creative. Um, you know, it's like that Piscean energy, spiritual, um, also confusion and delusion because Neptunian energy, Piscean energy is known to be very like optimistic so much so that it lives like in its dreams and it's out there, like it's disconnected from the real world. So people are feeling like you know, like, I don't think I, I should be doing this. Maybe I should go into something creative, something spiritual, something um, I don't know, because again, they're just confused. And so what happens is most of the time is that they will either quit their job unknowingly, because if you have no knowledge of astrology, you have no idea like why you're doing what you're doing. But there are these energies that are kind of making you feel a certain way and not necessarily making you do that thing, like, you know, quitting a job, but making you feel like, I don't think this is right for me. And I think it's time to kind of move into who I truly am because also with that Piscean Neptunian energy, it gives a sense of like, um, I want to say like falsehood, you know, because a lot of people are in this like fake it till you make it thing. Um, and, and more so from, from what I'm seeing is that people are faking it, but more like living in the way that they want to continue to live. So if they are somebody who wants to be a travel influencer, you know, fashion, whatever it is, they're going to present themselves that way, even if they are clocking in somewhere, even if they are doing whatever. So what I have noticed, if you are experiencing, or if you're even born with this, I mean, this can be a thing too, natally, if you have this, but more so focused on the transit because a transit or a Saturn transit does take about two and a half years to three years to kind of transit through the next sign. And so squares are, you know, um, the, if the, if the sign is in the same, um, you know, family of modality, like, are they, um, both mutable signs? Are they both, um, five? I mean, I'm sorry, Mutable signs, cardinal signs, or fixed signs. So if you had a Neptune in Aquarius and a Saturn in Leo, those are squaring each other. Um, or they are opposing each other, but they're squaring each other because they are the same in the same square family. The Aquarius, the Leo, the Taurus, and um, the Scorpio. So if those four signs or either of those two signs are the same between the Neptune and the Saturn, that's what's called the square. So whenever you have this happen, um, transit-wise, again, it can last two and a half years to three years and so that's kind of something that you'd have to learn through and and you know kind of be patient with i would say because it is a slower moving energy it is a, it's not something sudden that just suddenly happens you're kind of just transitioning into this next phase so whenever it comes to that neptunian energy because neptune is tied to pisces energy which is the 12th house of astrology which is tied to sleep and your energy um, you can lack energy. You can be very lethargic whenever it comes to doing any kind of hard work. You can literally be like, I cannot do physical labor. Like I cannot cut the grass. I cannot pick up things. I just like physical labor, demanding labor, hard work is just not matching my energy. Like I just can't do it. And so that does happen. Either people cannot 
w literally work in their home and like clean up their house. Like they just become very, I want to say lazy, but it is a very, like I said, lethargic energy, a slow moving energy to where you just really do not want to do anything that's like physically demanding um, or even mentally demanding. And a lot of times too, whenever it comes to your dreams, because Neptunian energy is dreams and Saturn is your work. And I told you that this transit is, is at least two and a half to three years. It can feel like your dreams are taking forever to finally manifest. You're putting all this work, all this time, all this energy into what you're doing. And then you're not seeing the results instantly. So that can happen whenever there is this transit. So you know, again, you have to be very patient. You have to understand what you're working with. And again, you have to embody all of that Neptunian energy, whether it is being more creative, whether it is um, being more spiritual and whatever it is that you do, or just connecting more to nature, meditating, talking to God, all those things can happen during this time because it is a, a frustrating time for people whenever they are working so hard and they're not seeing the labors, I mean, the fruits of their labor. Um, like I said, it can also be the confusion about what to do for work. Um, I have, I did have a client who, um, you know, she has a job, obviously a very well-paying job, but again, she's like, if I could have, if I could do anything, if I could, I, cause I asked her if you could be anything, what would you do? If you could have any kind of career, what would you do? And so she, she told me what she would want to do. But again, that Neptunian energy kind of confuses you of like, Am I, is this just like a temporary thing? Like, can I really do it? Can I really make this a thing? Or am I just kind of like living in la-la land with my ideals? Because again, the optimism can be there. It can kind of be a little bit too much, um, but that can be present. So again, maybe possibly people do move into careers of spirituality. I did meet a lady. Um, it, was, it was so weird. I don't think I told the story on any other video anyways i went to this spiritual store and there was a you know obviously the the lady who was working in there um we started talking and you know she asked me about um what was going on at that time i don't know it was some astrological thing going on at the time and she asked me a question about it and anyway so then i had mentioned that i am an astrologer and she was like oh and then she pulls out her app and she's asking me all these questions and um she was like, yeah, I um, used to work for this very, very like powerful company. She's at the top of my, I'm at the top of the whatever, you know, because she's, she's a little older, 60, 70 years old. And she's like, and then I just got out of it. And I just, now I just do spiritual things. I'm a healer and I work here and I do this and that. And so going from that corporate life that, you know, she's this power seeking woman and she's the only woman who she, she says she was the only woman who worked in her company. She's going from that to spiritual life. And uh, she told me she wanted to be a death doula. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but she wants to be a death doula. And so helping people transit to, you know, the next life and, and kind of easing their way into that. So two totally different things, like two totally different careers. Like you would never even think that. And again, it's not something that you even plan. You don't, uh, you know, when you're growing up, you're like, I want to grow up and I want to be this. Now, some people probably, you know, that's probably been their thing since birth. But majority of the time, people like just wake up into like, what am I doing in this job, in this career? And so they, again, they go into like a more spiritual life. Um, also too, remember that Neptune is also, well, all signs, all planets do tie to your health and of course the zodiac sign associated with it because pisces is like that healer type of energy neptune pisces does rule over the 12th house of hospitals and you know an illness and things like that so whatever zodiac sign your saturn is in you could experience um things that revolve around health issues with that body part so like if you had saturn and aries maybe you'll get like more headaches um, those things can be more prevalent, but again, depending on the aspects and what's going on in your chart, those things can also be seen through there too. So just kind of be aware of that. Make sure you're taking care of your body because a lot of times too, whenever people have Neptune in the sixth house of Virgo, they can, um, you know, not have any idea what's going on with their body and where is this illness coming from, you know, or it's hard to diagnose. So just always make sure that you are taking care of yourself um, whenever it comes to your health and your body. Um, and then also too, during this transit, you can have very unrealistic expectations of your work. Um, you know, maybe you think like, oh, if I quit tomorrow, then 
I'll become the president or the CEO of this company, you know, and those things can happen where tour, you can have like so many unrealistic expectations of what's going to happen in your work. Um, you know, and again, that's just something you have to work with and understand too, that although we feel certain things because we have those energies kind of in us, as far as like the optimism and, you know, that uh, delusion, borderline delusion, you have to also understand how to balance that out and look at what what is in front of you. Look at what is in front of you and see if that's even a real thing um, and to kind of work through that too. Um, but like I said, just the lethargic energy and the tweets that I've come across, like I said, people just are just not feeling it. But also at the same time, I don't think these people understand what's happening right now. Um, some people really hate the energy that's happening right now. Um, and so they just have to understand that you gotta be patient, you know? And so during this time, you know, learn not to get frustrated, learn to understand that things might take some time to fully manifest how you want them to whenever it comes to your career, your job. And then also remember Saturn is tied to your father um fatherly figures so whenever it comes to like whatever you are experiencing let's say with that like lethargic energy when it comes to work your father can also experience those things as well so just to kind of pay attention to that whatever they're experiencing make sure they're taking care of themselves as well um but yeah you know the more that you study your transits in your chart and i know everyone cannot read a chart um, you know, I did have a, <laughs> had a astro cartography session uh, about two or three days ago. And, you know, the lady who I talked to, she's a healer as well. Um, but she was like, I opened up these charts and I'm like, what the heck am I even looking at? Like, there's numbers and, you know, just squares and symbols and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, I just rather have somebody who already studies it um, to do it for me. So again, we all have our gifts. You know, I was a public school teacher for a very long time. Um, and I do love reading books and studying and just absorbing knowledge like all day, every day. So if you are somebody who would like to, um, you know, get your birth chart fully analyzed, you know, kind of see what's going on in your life and go ahead and hit me up on any social media platform. Y'all can comment below, go to my website. My website is everywhere, y'all, literally everywhere. So just go ahead and go there and check it out. Um, but other than that, like I said, some things you cannot change you just have to understand what's going on and kind of move with the energy and it helps you though it helps you understand that you're not doing something wrong but you just got to know where it's coming from y'all so anyways thank y'all for watching and supporting and liking and all of those things and i will see y'all on the next video sometime soon <laughs> okay bye